Today we'll take you on a journey through how glucose the Pokemon evolves, battles and breaks down against cellular respiration, producing ATP or energy. You're going to the mitochondria with glucose when a wild cellular respiration appears. Cellular respiration uses glycolysis. That move turns glucose into 2 pyruvate and you lose 2 NADH, electron carriers, and 2 ATP. The new 2 pyruvate needs to escape to the mitochondria. Careful though, if the mitochondria doesn't have enough oxygen, the door won't open and cellular respiration will use lactic acid fermentation, turning you into lactic acid. Luckily, the mitochondria has oxygen and 2 pyruvate can go inside. You have entered the matrix. After all that battle, 2 pyruvate still needs to get better to battle cellular respiration. He gives up 2 NADH and 2 CO2 and evolves into acetyl-CoA. CO2 is useless and gets thrown out of the mitochondria. You are just in time. Cellular respiration followed you inside and uses citric acid cycle. Oh no! 2 pyruvate is losing heaps of NADH and FADH too. He is losing CO2 as well, but they're still useless and get thrown out too. When the smoke clears, you've lost 2 FADH2, 6 NADH, and 2 ATP. And now cellular respiration is ready to use its final move. Cellular respiration picked up all of the NADH and FADH2 we lost along the way, and now he can use it to perform a special move in the wall of the mitochondria, the inner membrane space. The energized electrons carried by NADH and FADH2 trigger the electron transport chain. This energy opens protein doorways and pulls the H plus and the mitochondria through the door seal. But the electrons can only give away so much energy before they become useless. But there's so many from the NADH and FADH2 pulling the H plus into the intermembrane space. The pressure, as many in the crowd push them through the cellular respiration's ultimate machine, ATP synthase. As the H plus spins through, energy is created, completing the last step, combining ADP and PI to create masses and masses of ATP. Finally, cellular respiration has ATP and is finally one. So to sum it up, cellular respiration used three moves. The first move was glycolysis. This is where glucose turned into 2 pyruvate and 2 NADH and 2 ATP were lost. It escaped into the mitochondria and evolved into acetyl-CoA by giving up 2 NADH and 2 CO2. The second move was the citric acid cycle. This is where acetyl-CoA gradually lost 6 NADH, 2 FADH2 and 4 CO2. The last move was the electron transport chain. This is where NADH and FADH2 gave the protein doorways energy to pull H plus into the intermembrane space. This created enough pressure, a pressure gradient, to push the H plus through the ATP synthase protein machine, combine ADP and PI, and make heaps of ATP. In the end, cellular respiration gets loads of energy and wins. And that's our story of glucose and cellular respiration.